What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. You're talking about Stranger Things Season 4 in this video here again today. Talking about the character of Vecna who is being positioned to be like the big bad of the upcoming season. Now we're going to be talking about Decray Montgomery to start off with. I've seen people talk about who this character could be. Decray Montgomery many weeks ago earlier in the year before the trailer for the fourth season was even out. Posted this on Instagram. So a lot of people think that this means that Billy is going to be Vecna in the upcoming season because he has this caption, vid caption photo on Instagram saying coming soon. Now me personally i think that if he was actually vecna they would have told him to take this down that is not to say that the cray won't return as billy in the fourth season i just don't think he's vecna but i do get where people are coming from with that idea um and then they also just have had an interview recently talking with IGN, talking about some of the inspirations for the upcoming season and their big bad, as you see here on your screen here, which again is Vecna. Vecna, we know, will be just another name that's been inspired by Dungeons and Dragons. I think that's literally the name from Dungeons and Dragons that they just taken and now made it for the villain in the Stranger Things season four, our new big bad, where they explained their inspirations for it, talked about Nightmare on Elm Street and how they want to pay homage and kind of like create their own Pennywise, Freddy Krueger, all of that stuff. So we also know that the another another thing people have been considering is that Vecna is actually Victor Crowell, who I think that's his name, portrayed by Robert England, who joined the series this season. And given that they have already talked about the Nightmare on Elm Street inspirations and the fact that there's a house that seems like it's going to be very much, of course, of Nightmare on Elm Street, like in the sense that something went on in that house and that house has a lot of history to it and kind of like the elm street house from nightmare on elm street now you have the crowl house uh i just think it's too obvious in the sense of who vecna could be now i'm not saying it can't be robert england but of course robert england a big bad of your series that's too easy to just have it be robert england uh and i do i do understand again where people are coming from with the whole idea of billy being vecna the cray montgomery's post and the fact that Billy himself and Billy himself and Vecna do seem to have an interest in Max this season. And they have made it clear that Max is going to be a big part of the season. So I get where people are coming from there as it pertains to whether or not Billy is going to be Vecna or not. I just don't think that Vecna will end up being Billy or Crowell, Victor Crowell. I think that Vecna will end up being someone that we're not considering, someone we haven't met yet. But if it ends up being one of those two, then I guess you were right. But going off of the trailers we've seen and the fact that I know that they've made it clear this is very Max heavy this season, I think that's why a lot of people are associating it with the fact that Vecna is just going to be Billy. And going over something they said in the IGN interview, they said so much of this season is about Max. We open the season with her struggling with her grief and her trying to navigate that. And Max, on the other hand, is also someone who doesn't really open up to people. So a lot of what she's dealing with, she's struggling with internally. She shut a lot of people out, which makes it even much more difficult. So this is, of course, we'll be dealing with the grief related to Billy. I think in between season three and four, six months have passed since Billy's death at the end of season three. So i again understand where you're coming from i just don't think that it's going to be that easy to cray montgomery of course would be be great in the role but going off of the even the voice even doesn't seem like it's going to be to cray montgomery as vecna they talked about the inspiration how they said they want to do characters that was similar to the horror figures that terrified them growing up from freddy krueger to pinhead to pennywise so again knowing that robert england literally freddy krueger himself is in the series i don't think that you're going to then follow up with a season heavily inspired by Nightmare on Elm Street, have a Nightmare on Elm Street figurehead, face of the franchise, the iconic horror villain himself, Freddy Krueger, Robert England, in your series, and then also make him your villain, Vecna. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Vecna is someone who clearly has a lot of powers. Uh, it seems that they're associated with the Upside Down. It seems there's a lot of manipulation either going on with time or people's memories and either dream sequences that they can just cause people to hallucinate midday. Uh, again, just something that seems to be very much heavily influenced by Nightmare on Elm Street. So they're, they're definitely tapping, tapping into the horror elements here. Vecna, from what I have seen, and considering some of the trailers and teasers that came out earlier in the years that we got in between season three and four coming out in a couple weeks, Vecna seems to have some type of ties to Eleven, Millie Bobby Brown's character. And what I mean is I'm just thinking about the fact that they already made it clear that we're going back to the Upside Down. The Upside Down is going to be heavily, in heavily involved this time around. And there's going to be a reappearance from Hawkins Lab 
according to some of the teasers that came out earlier when we got those little mini teasers showing the first of course that hopper was alive and we saw it looks like dr brenner will be back and just going off of vecna's appearance alone the fact that he's very human in nature makes me think that again this is somebody we're not considering and it has something to do with hawkins lab it has something to do with 11 Millie bobby brown's character the fact that this is a big bad who is like one of the most distinct humanoid figures we've gotten has me thinking that Hawkins Lab and Vecna are connected in the sense that Vecna is just number one. You know how they have those things on their wrist? Number 11, we've met number eight in season two. We know Jane 11 is number 11 as we saw the tattoo on her wrist many times in this series. There is a teaser that was released that showed who I'm assuming is 11 playing in the rainbow room with another child. Now, in this theory of mine, I'm saying that this is basically going to be uh, Vecna. Vecna is number one. This would explain all the capabilities this humanoid creature seems to have in the upside down. It might not even be the upside down all the way. Maybe it's something that relates to a different plane that's separate from the upside down and somehow it's impacting Hawkins. Um, how it's connected to Victor Crowell in the Crowell house, that I don't know, but I'm pretty convinced that Vecna will end up being number one and it'll be somebody from the past of Eleven that she has forgotten about, that she spent time with in, in Hawkins' lab, and they'll explore that further in the upcoming fourth season. It just seems like that's the direction they're going to take and it's not going to be something as easy as it being Billy back from 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 the beyond the grave talking to max and i get that because max is a big focus that's where most people are drawing that 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 correlation from but that just seems too easy most of this season seems like it's going to be heavily related to uncovering more things with the kids from hawkins lab who were involved with mk ultra and tying that into more of a 11 centric narrative outside of it just being being focused on max 11 and her connection to this is probably going to be more prevalent in the sense that she's probably dealing with vecna because vecna is number one that's who i think vecna will end up being someone who broke out of the lab and ended up in the upside down but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video